Hi everybody, Lady T here. Um, today I'm going to make nachos uh, with no beans because the beans bother me. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is what I got here. Some ground beef. I'm going to ground that up first along with uh, chopped onion. This is a white onion. You can get the yellow onion or whatever you like. And uh, after we drain the juice off, then we'll add um, cumin, organic cumin. And then organic chili powder. And we got pepper here. Black pepper. Um, we got Tostitos, and they're gluten free. Uh, shredded lettuce, already shredded here. And um, a Mexican blend of cheeses. And last but not least, sour cream. Okay, we'll be back to get started cooking. Alrighty, so I got the onions all uh, chopped up here. Next thing I'm going to put is a little bit of uh, olive oil. Like a couple tablespoons or something. And uh, we'll let that start to heat up a, a little bit there. This is what I use. Uh, this is organic olive oil. And uh, I really love this stuff. I use it in a lot of dishes that I cook. Okay, now we got it heating up here, so we're gonna incorporate the uh, hamburger in with the uh, onions here until it's all golden brown. I'm gonna after it's uh, cooked, I'm going to uh, uh, drain the juices and put the spices in here. It's starting to smell like onions in here a little bit. I haven't made nachos in a long time. So this, is, this is really good here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to put in is uh, ground cumin. Instead of getting those uh, seasoned packets because I'm a gluten intolerant. So put that in. Organic ground chili. Okay. Pepper. And I'm going to put salt here in a minute. I just want to mix this up. And that's like a, you can make tacos with the same, uh, the same seasoning too. Well, I'm just going to let it, this cook just a little bit more. And then I'm going to start uh, making the nachos for, for you guys. All right, so I went ahead and I got a sheet pan right here, and I just went ahead and, and uh, put some foil on there, so we won't have to wash that pan after. We're getting the Tostitos ready, and I'm just going to put like a good sized portion for myself. Just like that. Get some of this meat here. Get the meat right on top of it. Now this is my lunch actually. I probably have some for dinner too. I will have some meat left over. Okay, just like that. Should be enough. Um, my cheese right here, Mexican blend cheese. Put 
I'm just going to go ahead and cover it like this here. Lots of cheese on there. It's not nachos if it's if there's not a lot of cheese on it, you know. This looks good. And it's smelling good already, too. All right, now we want to turn the oven on 350. And we're going to put it in the oven here. I never preheat my oven because if, when you open it, it's kind of like a waste of electricity. It all comes out. So we're going to put it in there for until it all melts there. Okay, so the uh, the nachos uh, are all, uh, and the cheese is all melted on there. They kind of like fell off on the side, but uh, next thing I'm going to put is some shredded lettuce. Now this is going to be more like a taco salad, actually. Put that on there like that. Got the salsa. I like medium salsa. Put that on there really good like that. Oh, it's starting to look really good. Wow. And it smells really good too. Spread it around like this. to clean up. <laughs> so okay, that's the, uh, it's actually a taco salad actually, not really nachos, but uh, uh, that's what I like on it. So we're going to have the taste test here in a second. All right, everybody, look at that. Ooh -wee. That's my taco salad right there, and I'm going to get ready to eat it. So boy, it lo really looks good. I'm going to get a nacho here that has mostly meat and cheese on it. Salsa, and some uh, lettuce there. Oh, there it is. Mmm. It was really good. It turned out really good. Oh my god. And like I said, I don't put any refried beans on it or kidney beans because it bothers me. So, mm. but this is very good and very tasty. So, it only took 10 minutes in the oven for the cheese to, uh, to melt and everything. So, but anyway, I'll be back with some more videos pretty soon. I hope you all have a great week this week. Okay, God bless you guys. Take care.